Hello and welcome back to a brand new episode of the Let's Build series in Minecraft. And let me actually go inside and let me show you a little bit around. Once we enter the house, this is actually what we got. We got the kitchen area on the right hand side. As you can see, we got a lovely cooking area as well. Next to that, we got our bedroom. And here we got the enchanting room. And remember, this works perfectly. So this is level 30. And on this side, we got some more storage as well as on that side. This is actually a carpet slash a storage area design as well. And I am actually very happy with how this turned out. On this side, we got a working area with a anvil and a crafting table. And these two sides are just simply windows to get some light through. Let's actually go through the materials as well. Now I will have the same list in the description. So if you want to, you can check that out, but this is actually everything you need. Now, once you got everything, let's get started. The first, then let's move in and let's start working on the interior. Now to start off, you want to have your stairs going down first, then make sure that you build up these sides. Now we are going to cover the roof with some polished andesite and we are going to replace the floor with some dark oak wood. Now the roof starts obviously just right here. Then make sure that you light up this area so that no mobs spawn. Then the next thing what we are going to do is we are going to indicate some pillars on the inside. So just build up this side. Do the same thing over here. Then let me outline everything. So you want to have three pillars like that. Add one more on the corner. Then build it all up until you meet the roof. Next up, we are going to indicate two more pillars, which are going to be right here. So build it up. And make sure that you connect this with the sides as well and repeat the same thing over here but the first thing what we are going to do is we're going to add storage areas on both sides so what you want to do is you want to divide this in two then add your stairs go like this then you can take your chests and place that in Then take your item frames and place it on the sides. After that, you can take some buttons and place that in as well. The next thing what we're going to do is we're going to build a cooking area, which is going to be right here to start off. You want to add some gray concrete and make a simple U shape like this. Then you want to add one more row underneath here as well. Do the same thing over here. Take your stairs and cover this up. Then take some iron trapdoors and place that in. On the back side, you want to have two campfires, actually four in total. Build up these sides. Then take your stairs again and add it in, going across. Okay, and make them go across again. And once you are at this point, what you want to do is you want to add some buttons as well. Then take some barrels. First, add your stairs, going across. Then take your barrels and add it in. After that, again, you can take some item frames and place it in as well. Then take some cobblestone stairs, add it in. You want to have four stairs like this, and then you can just simply add some carpets. After that, take some more stairs, and this time we're going to use some uh, quartz actually, just to give this a little bit more color. And then you want to take a different type of trapdoors. I'm going to use the uh, spruce one, place it in and open them up. Then we're going to create an enchanting room. So start with an enchanting table right here. So I want to go exactly in the same line as this and then go back one block from this row. After that, you want to cover this with some bookshelves. Here we go. And this is actually enough for level 15. So keep that in mind. 
Now this is enough for level 15, so keep that in mind then. We're going to make a simple bookshelf shape. Right here, go across. Then once you got that, what you want to do is you want to add your bookshelves in. Then to decorate this a little bit more, what you want to do is you want to add your stairs underneath. Then on the open places, you want to add your iron bars and fill this gap in. Then you want to take some walls and we are going to use cobblestone walls. Place it in going up. Then we want to take our stairs again. We are going to add some, actually a row going all the way around here as well. Just to give this a little bit more depth. Okay, then you want to take your stairs again and place that in. This time you want to have it upside down. And on this side, you just want to add some ladders going up. Now to light up this area, we are going to use some glowstone. So I actually forgot to mention that beforehand. Next up, we are going to light up this area. So you want to get rid of these three blocks and then add a glowstone. Then once you got that, again, you want to take some carpets and place it on top of the bookshelves just to darken this a little bit out. This is actually a perfect place to make a bedroom. So what you want to do is you want to start off with some stairs going across. And then you want to make sure that you connect these two sides together. After that, if you want to, you can even add one more row of grey concrete underneath. Then add your stairs. Add your beds on top. Then take your trapdoors and place them in. Now you need to get rid of these blocks, otherwise you are not able to place it. Then on the back side, you want to have full blocks followed with some stairs again. Then what you want to do here is you want to add your iron bars, some upside down stairs, and then take some trapdoors again and place that in. On the sides, we're going to use iron bars. So take your iron bars with some lanterns, place it in like this, and then you can take your lanterns and add it in as well. Next up, we're going to build a working area right here. It's not going to be the biggest one, but it will be big enough. So you want to add your black concrete like that first. Then you want to take your stairs, go across and connect these two sides. Then you can add your anvil followed with a lantern like that. And then take your carpets and place it on top. After that, again, we're going to add some buttons as well. For these two sides, we're going to keep it as a window. So just add more stairs. And we're going to repeat the same thing as we have done on the outside of this. So just add your lanterns in. And here we go. That's the basic shape for these two windows. Then for the entrance, you want to go in like that. And then have another row like this. On these two sides, you want to add your stairs, fill this all up. And the last thing we're going to do is we're going to make a simple closet area just with some barrels. Just fill this all in and what we're going to do as well is you just want to go across and make sure that you connect these sides together as well. Let's do the same thing up here. Then we want to take some deep sleep brick slabs and add it in. And we are going to indicate some shapes on the roof like this. Doesn't have to be perfect, but just to add some more detail to the roof. Once you got that in, you want to go across from this point on. And then you want to add one more row starting from here. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to make use of this space as well. So dig out an area which is five by five. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Then on the sides, you want to add your petals. On the inner side, let's add some back concrete. And then you want to add some item frames like that. Then on the outer sides, you want to add some item frames as well. So it is a little bit different than usual, but it works. You can just these three are for these three, this three is for this three, and you get the idea. You can just then you want to replace these blocks with some concrete as well. Then take some song pressure plates and place them on top as well. And you will end up with an area like that. Now I think it is a very nice addition to this build. And hopefully you all enjoyed this one as well. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe. Have a nice day. I'll see you the next time.